Hi guys, welcome to the new video of Linux Explorer series. In this video, we will discuss how to clone the website or uh, basically the informative video regarding like uh, downloading multiple, uh, you can say the files together. Uh, like if you want to download some file that is present over the internet, then how we can download with the command line utility. So for that, we have a utility called wget in Linux. So we can download the file or multiple files together with wget. But uh, many many like peoples are misusing the wget command. How? So what they are doing? As you all know, with the wget we can download all the files and the folders from the internet. So with the wget, what hackers or crackers are doing is they are uh, mirroring the websites and uh, they are hosting the, those websites on their own web servers. And there are some tricks uh, in the market that client is visiting the server, let's say google.com. So, hackers are here in the middle. When the packet is going on or when the request is going on to the google.com server, so what they are doing in the middle is, they are redirecting this packet or they are redirecting this client not to google.com but to their personal web server. And at this web server, exactly the same Google or you can say the Facebook website is running. And when user is this at this website or at the website of this hacker, same web page, same interface and everything is same. Even a bit component is same. How we can, uh, how we can like uh, deploy the same website by mirroring this uh, main website that we are going to discuss in this video. So the motto is they are... The hackers are doing many in the middle attack and diverting the client to some different website that is their personal website and when client is entering their username and password okay so at the same time within a second the client got hacked by the hacker and hacker will get their username and password that's how the social media accounts are getting hacked so yeah this is called a man in the middle attack and diverting uh, uh, the traffic to some other web server to personal web server and uh, Deploying as it is the same website that is already deployed by some uh, trustful clients or trustful peoples like google.com is a trustful website but deploying it to your personal server or by the hackers that is called also called a phishing. So deploying the same website, same interface like there is no phishing and uh, by somehow we are diverting the traffic that is man in the middle attack. Now how we can do is so you wget uh, the syntax of wget is very simple that is wget options and uh, then the url you can give multiple url to download multiple files at once but let's see i am giving let's see wget and uh, i'm giving my company's website url only so if i show you ls nothing is here but if i do wget and this see it's resolving the uh, you are in the background and it saved the index.html file. See, this is the index.html file. If you open this web page, this is as it is the same web page that is hosted on the public. Now, uh, how we can host this? Uh, that's a different concept. We have to install web server, we have to set up the document root and everything. But the motto of this video is to tell us like how you can download or mirror the website as it is. Even the CSS, JavaScript and uh, extension of file that is hosted on a website will as it is same. No changes. Just you have to uh, download them and you have to host on your website and you don't have to do the man in the middle attack or phishing attack. I am not saying do this kind of attacks. This is not ethically allowed. But yeah, I am just giving this informative knowledge or information to you guys like how hacking will happen in the IT industry or in the world. So that will be, you can take it like as a learning. So if you learn how hacking will happen or how phishing or man in the middle, middle uh, attack happen uh, by the hackers or crackers. So you will be now understood like how the mind of hackers and crackers is working in the background. So they are deploying the same website on their web server and doing a uh, routing kind of thing in the middle of the network. So you will save yourself by these attacks. That's the motto of this video. Now this is uh, downloading some URL as it is by the wget but uh, 
if you want to download something in the background or uh, let's uh, let's first discuss the option that is very important or mostly used hyphen m hyphen m stands for mirroring the website it will download all the things all the php or, or sorry not php all the javascript all the css files if i do m and if i do let's say google.com M is mirror everything. If you see, Google.com is here, and we go inside this. This is a file index.html. You can use multiple options with the wget that tells. Let me tell you. See, M means a uh, mirror, and we can use this recursive option also uh, to recursively download the things. One option is no check certificate if you are downloading from HTTPS and you want to ignore the SSL certificate, you can use this option no check certificate. Yeah, multiple options are there, you can check, but yeah, I told you hyphen M is to mirror the things basically. And uh, if you want to download multiple files together, let me remove this index.html first. Let me come out. Okay, I'm doing this only and uh, yep. So if you see nothing is there now, I am downloading multiple okay, multiple files. See, now if I do ls, sorry, it's doing for google.com. My mistake, let it be done. See, now if I do, first is index.html, that is for hidden, or uh, this is for index.html, dot one is for Google. Okay, now if you want to download some file, okay, you can give this URL from the files also. Now what I mean is vi URL, and I am giving, you have to give at every line, you have to give one URL basically. One line means one URL, and if I do ls, let me remove this index .html and one more file I have. Let me remove that also. Now we don't give the URL with wget in the front of wget command. Instead of that, what can do is hyphen i option and the URL file. Now what hyphen i means is hyphen i means input file. Just take your input from this file. What I'm what I am like specifying. It's saying scheme missing, so maybe we have to give another format like uh, HTTPS. One second, maybe in this form we have to give. Let's check it out. But yeah, you got the concept. You can check the URLs from the internet and you can do the thing. See, it's working fine. And if I do ls now, see. Three index.html is downloaded, one for Google, one for YouTube, and one for hsgen.com. That's how we can use hyphen i option to specify URL from some file. The next option I have to use is let me remove these any files first. Okay. If you want to download the file in the background, okay. So this is very big file. Let me get one file that is very big approx 93 mb i guess yeah this one so if i click enter see it's taking a bit long because it's a big file let me stop this and now if i want to download this in background so what i can do is there is an another option that i look at that is hyphen b see it's downloading the background and uh, if I get this wget log, see what it's saying is saving to this file and if I do ls, that file is saved in the background. And the log, like what is doing in the background, the wget command will save to wget log. That's the use of option B. Okay. Now what I can, next option what I will do is, if you want to rim, limit your downloading speed, then what you can do is, you can use another option that is hyphen limit hyphen rate. 
So I am limiting my downloading speed limit iPhone rate will be equal to approx 100k okay number invalid number is it then I guess because of this okay level hyphen hyphen level will hyphen hyphen level I don't think so some issue with this I can have a level, is it? Let me check what is the option name. Uh, see, that is a limit rate only, and uh, iPhone, iPhone limit, iPhone rate, I guess. So, iPhone, iPhone limit, iPhone rate, I can give here, and if I do enter, see, it restricted my uh, download speed to 128 from here on the third column if you see it's not going too far from 128 kb per seconds okay that's why it's taking 12 minutes 48 seconds for 90 mb file if i do now don't limit the file and directly if i hit you can see the difference so if i do this let me let it be quickly resolving the DNS name. See, it's going in the MBPS 5.5 MBPS something, and only 16 17 seconds is asking for me. So, that's the use of limiting rate. You can like limit the things, or uh, like if you want, it will not take so much of your bandwidth, then you can do that. The next option uh, I will explain you is hyphen C. So, what hyphen C will do is if in the middle your internet got stuck and gone away, so if you don't specify hyphen C option, it will start your downloading from the beginning. Okay. But if you specify hyphen C, it will begin your downloading from where it stopped basically. Okay. The demo of it I can show you is in this way hyphen C I put it and I'm disconnecting this wired connection. See, turn off. It stopped at the 24%. If I don't pass the hyphen C option, then it will start from the beginning again. But Thanks to duplicate hyphen C option that we specified it and if we turn on the wired connection again you will see the difference that it will begin from where it stopped basically. So that's the use of hyphen C option. Let my internet connect back. So it is taking some time. I don't know what the issue of this. Yeah, but I, I hope you got the concept of it. So I don't know some issues with this, but you can try at your own laptop also. I can see option and disconnect your uh, connection. And when you begin the connection again, it will start from that part only. It will not start from the beginning. If you like the video, you can uh, subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon. If you have any doubts, you can post your doubts in the comment box or you can reach out to LinkedIn also. Thanks for watching the video.